Hi, I'm Michael with Menard Jewelers. Today I wanted to go over what are diamonds worth and why. Like anything in any industry, things are only worth what people are willing to pay for them. If nobody wants to buy something, it's worthless. If it's really sought off after, then people are going to pay what people are going to pay for it, and that's what it's worth. And that goes with diamonds as well. So as people want diamonds, they're worth a lot. If nobody wanted them, nobody would be able to sell them. So when I sell a diamond, the price is to is basically decided on what it costs me to get it for you. If it costs me a lot of money to get you a diamond, it's going to cost you a lot of money to buy the diamond. If I can get it really cheap, you're going to get it really cheap. That's just the way any industry works. So I want to go over first over the two types of lab-grown diamonds. Lab-grown diamonds have been done since the 1950s. It was usually used in the construction industry for like the, the diamond-tipped tools and stuff like that. And about 15 years ago, they got really good at making larger high quality diamonds and it really went into the uh, the jewelry industry uh, big time in the last 15 years. So the two ways that they do it is the high pressure, high temperature. So the high pressure, high temperature is just that. It compresses under high heat to cause the, the diamond structure to grow. The other one is going to be your CVT or CVD. Chemical vapor uh, des, des, uh, pe, despedition, I think is how it's pronounced, and that uses a chemical process. And then of course, we always have our natural. Okay, so these two right here are your main two ways, and there's equipment that costs thousands of dollars to test whether it's one of these or one of these. It tests whether it's a type one or type two diamond. That's all the equipment in your average jewelry store is going to test for. Usually you have to send it out to a company like GIA to determine if it is actually a lab grown and which type it is. Um, there is some equipment that's available to some jewelry stores, but it's usually very, very expensive. Um, whether you go with natural or a lab grown, that's up to you. Some people only want natural. They don't want something that's man-made. They want that, that something from earth. Uh, it's more meaningful to them, and that's what they want. Um, if this doesn't matter to you, and all you care about price, then these are probably going to be what you're looking at. So the difference comes down to their crystal structure. So the crystal structure of a natural diamond is going to be somewhat like an, an eight-sided diamond. That's the way the crystal grows. When they do the high pressure, high, high temperature, what happens is the crystal actually grows a little different okay so you end up with this this 14 sided crystal structure now you can't see this with the naked eye this is what all that that expensive uh, testing equipment is able to determine and then with the chemical uh, process you end up with cubicle crystals okay so your four-sided crystals so some people claim that they could see with their naked eye the difference most Salespeople in jewelry stores can't tell the difference between a cubic zirconia and a and a diamond, much less the different crystal structures of the way a diamond was grown. That's why the, that equipment is so expensive, is because it's doing this on the molecular level, determining how the diamond was grown. And based on these, these crystal structures, you know exactly how it was created. Okay, so that gives you a little bit, if you're looking to, at lab grow diamonds, what you're looking at, what the difference is, and... Um, you know, there, there's not really going to be anything difference between these and then maybe the way the light shines through them. But again, you're talking on a molecular level, whereas uh, the more important things are going to be who cut the diamond and how well it was cut and how many imperfections. Because these can still have imperfections in them, um, just like a natural one. They will probably have less because there's not all the, the stuff coming through from the earth. But these will still have uh, SI2... Um, and even I, you know, different inclusions inside these stones, um, and they are graded the same way as a natural. Um, something to keep in mind is these will legally always be labeled on the girdle with a laser inscription, lab grown. Um, it's not going to say that there's nefarious companies out there that won't do that, but by law, they are required to put LG on the girdle of these stones. I hope this helps and helps uh, you in your stone buying process. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments, hit the like button, and watch out for other videos on education for jewelry.